Sid Meier's Colonization, Create a New Nation. Colonization, a turn-based strategy game developed and published by Microprose in 1994, is based upon the historical European exploration and colonization of the New World, hence the game's name. In Colonization, you are initially a viceroy of a colonial faction, and you are charged by your king and country to explore Terra Incognita and further your homeland's agenda. The ultimate goal, however, is to break free from your homeland and establish a new nation, as did the United States of America. Brian Reynolds and Sid Meier designed Colonization, and the game bears similarities in map design and interface to Civilization. However, Colonization remains focused and in-depth on a specific period of time, while in Civilization you are given the broad sweep of history to forge it for yourself. As I noted in my vlog, or whatever, I've never before played Colonization. I merely read the manual and watched uh, SKS's incomplete Let's Play of the game. Ergo, this promises to be a learning experience for us all, kind of like Master of Orion. Except, hopefully, I won't get screwed over by a Galactic Council. Alrighty, we have a few options here. We can choose to uh, start a game in the New World. We can go with a map that's pretty damn similar to America itself, I reckon. Or a customized New World. It'll randomly generate a world for us here. We're going to go ahead and do that. Now, we have five difficulty levels here. Uh, Discover being the easiest. Explorer being the next. Conquistador, Governor, and Viceroy. From my understanding, uh, the advantages of the computer uh, include uh, <laughs> cheating. Basically, breaking, breaking the rules of the game that the player cannot break in order to achieve an advantage that some would consider unfair. I We could go on that a lot about how oh, it's not really well designed AI. I, I'm going to avoid this. This is kind of like my first game playing. But I'm not going to do the easiest difficulty. We're going to make things interesting, and this guy looks cool enough. We're going to be an explorer, just like SKS. Now we have four European powers. England, France, Spain, and the Netherlands. Which I'm going to call Holland, because it's easier for me to say. <laughs> nah, I'll call it the Netherlands. Or just short it out and say Dutch. Uh, each year, uh, from what I actually, before I, I what I read in the manual, um, uh, they wanted to, uh, the folks who de designed and developed this game, wanted to include Portugal along with these group, these people. However, uh, for most of the time period in question here, uh, Portugal was dominated by Spain. And even then, uh, Portugal was more concerned with uh, pursuing their Cape of Good Hope uh, route to the Indies, the actual Indies. And they jealously guarded that route and the, the secrets in trading and everything. So, which kind of forced the other powers to sail west as opposed to east, hence at the New World. Uh, from a, in, the, in the instruction manual for the game, it also says that Portugal's policies were very similar to Spain. So, wouldn't be that much of a difference. But, you know, they were concerned a lot about trading. We have the Dutch for that. Each of these uh, nations have their own advantages in the game. England finds it easier to accrue immigrants, which come over seeking religious independence. France cooperates better with the, um, with the Indians, the Amer Indians, the Native Americans. Spain <laughs> finds it much more enjoyable to conquer all the aliens and enslave them and, yeah, steal their gold and infect them with diseases. Fun fact, folks. Originally, it's estimated that about 100 million Native Americans lived in the New World before the arrival of the Europeans. However, uh, due to diseases that were introduced, which uh, the, uh, the Natives had no resistances to, that was pretty much roughened down to about 20 million people. And there's no way in hell those 20 million, uh, divided as they were, could resist the technological and uh, numerical advantages of the European nations. It's kind of depressing. And, and you got to wonder, I mean, many Europeans died in the New World themselves due to diseases, so what if the Indians had gotten the jump on them first, huh? Anyway, uh, in order to spite SKS, we're going to be picking the nation of France. SKS loathes the French. Not loves, loathes. 
Furthermore, I've decided to institute a, uh, I reckon you could say, a challenge on my part in the interest of role-playing, or at least uh, being nice and well. Yeah, well, uh, there are Indian uh, grave sites and other uh, notes, other great places of importance to the Native Americans that you can raid in exchange for vast quantities of loot. Perhaps vast quantities of loot, or even the fabled Fountain of Youth. I will, uh... I will purposely try to avoid touching any one of those sites. They can upset the Native Americans, and uh, I will do. I will sacrifice accessing those sweat sites. So I'm going to lose out on probably a lot of plunder, but it will make me happy to do so. And if I end up losing the game, what the fuck? It's my first game of this. I think I'm doing this also to piss off SKS because he'll stare at these things and like, you're wasting opportunities, Grimace. Free gate. <laughs> Speaking of that, we should give ourselves our full title, Grimace Jack Reaver. That's right. I'll even put that in quotations. What the fuck? It's like I'm a gangster. If I was playing the gangster's computer game, that would be what I entered for my name. And you can go ahead and pause and get a, a little history of France and what they did here with New France in the uh, the New World. I could have read out a bunch of that stuff for you or uh, described it all, but what the hell. You guys got Wikipedia, right? To reflect the superior ability of the French to cooperate with the native population, the French players' colonies and units cause alarm among the Indians at only half the rate of other European powers. Hello, Raffle Ninja King! Year of Our Lord, 1492. An audience with the King of France. For the greater glory of France, I shall increase the volume. And I lost access to that because I pressed a key, even though I clicked out of the window. Whatever. You can go back and pause and read that yourselves. Basically, I was given a title to go increase the prosperity of my nation. The Year of Our Lord, or the Year of Our Ford. 1,492? Get on with it! Hello? Game? Did you freeze? Look. <laughs> this is a great start. I'm leaving this in here. Fuck this. One moment, folks. Let's try this again, shall we, everybody? I think it's a great sign whenever the game crashes that quickly into <laughs> my let's get on with that adventure. Dub the advice for the new world, go and explore this new land, sell it, bring wealth and glory to yourself and our nation. I shall. You know what, just consider, maybe the quotation marks fuck with the game. That's possible. No? No, it just decided to freeze right there. An expedition led by the great explorer, Grimoth Jack Reaper. I can't skip through this, folks. Left La Rochelle. Ro, ro, why do I keep rolling my R's? Rochelle. On a voyage of discovery. La Rochelle. I think it's because uh, I had Spanish and French years ago. It just all kind of like blends together, so I like to. My R's. <laughs> I like to pronounce double L's with a Y sound. Anyway, we're fucking exploring, everybody. Hope you're fucking ready for this shit. It's gonna be serious. It's true. Yes, will you get the fuck out of there, boat? <laughs> to find uncharted lands. And to establish colonies for the greater glory of France. Alrighty, we're in a randomly generated new world. Along with every other fucking buddy else. We have a soldier with us, and we have a... I reckon that's a pioneer. He's an expert with a hundred tools. So it's an expert pioneer. A hardy pioneer, perhaps? Yeah, we'll go with that. We have our little caravel here. This will represent the sea lane, the eastern sea lane, that will help us connect back to Europe. Over there, somewhere, is uh, the New World. We're gonna go find a place. I'm hoping to find a place that uh, will allow us to <laughs> stay away from all the other European powers. It's kinda like my first game, so let's not get too crazy or carried away. Let's travel in a diagonal pattern. Discovery of the New World. <sighs> nah, we will call this 
No, I did say I'd be role-playing a little bit, didn't I? So I'll keep the standard names. I was gonna go with Nehikara, and I was gonna start theming these all after cities in the Land of the Dead. With, like, Kimri and whatnot, but... Perhaps we'll leave behind Nagash's tendencies. We'll go ahead and call this New France. I think it'll spite SKS more, so it's a good idea, right? Fuck your new awesome son of a bitch. Come for forest. Okay. Fishery, that's a good sign. We want to stay away from Indian tribes as well, whenever we settle our colonies. Uh, in this game, there's no fat cross. There's just a radius of, like, uh, the nine squares around your city. So we don't have to stay too, too far. But certainly, relatively far. Oh, wow. Wait. Why, why, why do I get the feeling that, like, settling a city there would be the most amazing idea I've ever had? Let's do that. You guys, move onto this land. Oh yeah, we've got forests here, prime timber, we have a silver deposit, we have a fishery, and there does not appear to be any nearby Native American tribes. Which is good. Let's go ahead and activate the soldier here. I'm going to actually move him onto this square, so I can scout around a little bit more. Um, I think I'll actually spend some time a little bit before I settle my first colony. I think in colonization, you get more of an effect if you, like, plow the land first. So, like, if I settle my colony on, like, plowed land as opposed to a forest, I think that'll be better. I'll have to wait around for a bit, but I think that will be greater in the long run. I think. We'll just go with that. Worst case, whatever. It's like easy difficulty. This is my first game. You guys can educate me, right? Oh, mixed forest. So it's a hybrid forest, I understand. Alrighty. We'll go ahead and... Oh, I still have a move with you. Okay. Let's do that then. We've met the natives! Huzzah! The Apache tribe welcomes you. We are glorious <laughs> 23 camps, and we're so close to them. Well, I can't say I'm too excited about being next to the Apache. But, uh, sure. I'd rather prefer somebody like the Iroquois or Cher Cherokee. Somebody I knew would be uh, lovely and wonderful and peaceful and rainbow kids. We'll accept this, and we'll smoke your peace pipe. Damn. The pioneers. That is one disadvantage to uh, immediately coming settling across the first land you come across. Is that, uh... What can I do with you? I don't know any keys or, like, uh... Shortcuts or anything. That could be a problem, huh, folks? Hmm. Maybe I should pull out my reference card. I think it's a good idea. Give me a moment, everybody. Okay, all the orders are listed here. In this case, I want to clear the forest, so we'll do that. Sounds like a plan to me, everybody. We'll continue to move this way and explore land. And encounter more Indians. Well, I'm pretty excited about that one, folks. Where did that pioneer go? I'm actually interested to see where he settles his first his first colonies there. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, folks. Walk around these... Oh, that would be a, uh, a site of importance to the Native Americans. That's how you recognize that symbol. We will do our best to avoid stepping on those, though I may be forced into the position... So, I'm not, yeah, I'm not gonna lie here. It's a Lost City rumor, which means it has potential. I mean, if they force me into stepping on the sides, or for they, for whatever reason, declare war upon me, yeah. I won't take that too kindly, folks. I will not take that too kindly. Okay, that's good. Can, is there a way to get terrain information? Alrighty. So, that's good. Grassland. Fertile soil and temperate areas. This is perfect for tobacco growing. You can also harvest food here. I like that. So, if we plow a field there, would that make more of a difference? 
I don't know. We'll do it anyway. Why not? Let's say we did stuff and explored around in this game and had fun. Normally, I don't think moving a soldier next to the Indian tribes makes them very happy. But this is the beginning of the game, and I think I get some leeway in that matter. So we'll go with that. So, entering Indian village. Yay! We've met the Indians. Oh. Uh, yeah, we can't. We need a scout to do that and talk with them. So I'm just going to go ahead and... Sweet, sweet, seasoned scout. Well, in that case... You get your ass back to... Hmm, go to... How do I do that with you? Go to port. No, I don't want to do that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that tells you back to France. Go back to France. Alrighty, so I can get terrain information by pressing F1. Okay. I think I've done everything I can do there, so... I'm going to turn the music down. Is aggravating me. And I should not have pressed anything, because that, that's made the game gone crazy. Oops. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Apparently, adjusting my, my uh, volume keys sometimes does not make the game happy. Stop that. Stop it. <laughs> stop it. <laughs> well, I get the game to stop that. <laughs> I'll get around to settling my first colony, I swear. Quit! Damn it! <laughs> well, I'll fix this, everybody. This is a great moment to end this. Thank you all for joining me. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, we'll, we'll do more action, like build a colony, I, I swear. Next time. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. We'll build a colony now, then. And we'll go ahead and call it Quebec. Ah, SKS. We've built Quebec. Yay! What a beautiful place. Oh, wow. I think that did make a difference, folks. We've got... Is that tobacco that's coming in automatically? I think so. Sweetness. Well, we've got five food there. All right. We can definitely support colonists here. And we've got a silver mine, and hells yes, children. Hells yes. Thank you all for joining me, though. I'll see you next time.